Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, November 24th, 2021. November 24th. This means we are only one month away from Christmas Eve. This is crazy. This is just crazy. This is as crazy as the information I received during the last phone call with my parents because my mom told me that this week's Sunday will be the first of Advent. The first of Advent? What's going on? Wasn't it just February and... or summer? Why, why, why are we approaching the end of the year? What, what's going on? What, what has happened to everything, to the world? Why, why is it already that late, late in the year? Anyway, so um, yeah, only only one month to go until we do have Christmas Eve. So I guess we need to hurry. We need to hurry to get things done. And I like to start by getting the the lights for the running track and for the hall of sports done so i like to add some light there i think i like to go for the same concept as for the path so i like to use some jack-o-lanterns and some some oak leaves to cover the the jack-o-lanterns i think this should be good do not think that I do have. Well, I do have four shroom lights left. Do I really like to grow more shroom lights, or well, I think they it wouldn't make so much of a difference because I really like to embed them in the ground, which means jack o' lanterns is the the way to go. So I need. I do not have pumpkins. I need my ah here. I need me my shears. I have no torches left, so I also do need torches and more pumpkins. Let's get over to the farm area and grab the pumpkins so that I can turn them into the jack-o'-lanterns and then I can um, here, add them to the running track in the hope that this will look just great and just the way how I envisioned this. We do not have lots of pumpkins but I hope it will it will be enough. Let's just ow, tumble into the, the berries and carve all those pumpkins, very nice. Let's harvest them. So, yeah, surprising, really, really surprising that we are that late in the year. But anyways, it is what it is. The week started with some kind of strange and curious event. On uh, Monday we do have our research group team meeting. Also we do have a senior staff meeting basically. So this senior meeting is for all the postdocs and our professor. In this meeting we clarify all the important things that need to be discussed but that can be decided by well by the seniors and that are not important to the entire team since the team is really really big this is a great concept well, for those who are not postdoc, because I'm now postdoc, so I am sitting in both meetings. Still, it's very interesting. It's a very good concept. It streamlines it streamlines the 
a team meeting a lot and gives room for a lot of more discussions than it would be normally possible in the in the normal team meeting. So this definitely is good. It was, however, quite interesting to see how it was done this week because last week our professor was late. So we postdocs already were in the Zoom call, waited for him. Then one of us received a phone call of our professor and yeah, he received the information that our professor will be late. All right, this can happen. And um, then the other two postdocs, so a colleague and I got a phone call by our professor too. So in the end, we were seeing each other in Zoom. Well, we, we postdocs saw each other in Zoom. However, we were talking via our cell phones with our professor who was not in Zoom. This was interesting. This was really a, a new concept of using using Zoom for seeing us, but using a completely different device for doing the, the talking. Cool concept, cool concept. First time that I experienced this, but uh, it worked out. It worked out very, very well. So th this was an interesting start into the week. Later on, our professor got to his uh, computer and then he joined the Zoom call and uh, we, we finished the, the senior meeting. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm doing it all wrong. Oh, dang it. I totally forgot to, mm, to add the torch to the jack-o'-lantern. Okay, well, this was an oversight on my end. <laughs> okay, I, I do have to repeat that one again. Oh man, so much, so much thinking about the the weird start of the week with uh, this Zoom phone call situation. So yeah, th this, this was hilarious. It was effective, but also hilarious. I also managed to try out my new running shoes. I tried them on Tuesday, so yesterday. They really lock in the, the foot very well. So it's as expected. The, this, this concept of the, the attached tongue really works out well. It, it really encloses the foot. So a really a secure feel while running. And um, yeah, I think, I think this is really a cool improvement. Also, I think I see a potential to also use the, the runner, the runner's knot for those shoes, which would be also good, but I'm not sure if I really need to do this runner's knot because the feel was really secure. It's currently recovery week, so I'm not entirely sure how it feels when I do some the threshold run or something like this, but for the the recovery run on a Tuesday, it, it was all right. It was really good. It was, was a secure feel, was a good feeling. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased with this improvement, with this, with the updated version of this shoe. Unfortunately, they predict some rain for the entirety of the next week. So my shiny new white, well, it's, it's mostly white shoe, will not very long be white, I guess. Oh man, this will be heartbreaking. Breaking. This will be very heartbreaking running with this shoe in the mud. But well, it's, it's a running shoe. So that's its purpose. It was designed for running, so I will use it for running and not just put it into 
put it to this player, so that's that's not the purpose of that shoe. And um, yeah, so I think I think this is all right. Can we? Yeah, I think we can make it up to the um, to the park to take a look down because from up there, no, we can't see it from up there. So I like to see. I like to see if the the new lighting looks good. If it gets the job done, or if I need to embed even more lights in the grass or something like this. Unfortunately, there are no floodlights in Minecraft. I mean, it would be strange to have floodlights in Minecraft, but they would be good. They would be good for this specific purpose. And um, yeah, so the, the run was good. However, the weather was really the type of weather I find a little bit annoying, not because it was raining, the, the weather was perfect. On Tuesday we had, I wouldn't call it the first, I wouldn't say the, the first day of freezing temperatures because I'm, okay, we do have lots of enderman holes here. I, I think I need to fix that one too. Oh, those, those holes too. Um, I think we had already some mornings where the temperature were slightly below freezing, but this time it was definitely way below freezing. So I think in the morning it were minus five, minus six centigrade or so. Oh yeah, this looks good. This looks very good. I just have to add lights in the center of the, the, the turns. Okay, I need four more jack-o-lanterns. I have one here, so I hope three new new pumpkin will grow in this episode that I can add more light to to the running track. Then I think it will look really, really amazing. Yeah, it was freezing in the morning, which is cool. I I enjoy I enjoy the winter time. Also. It was sunny, which was... <clears throat> Can I... Where are you? Where are you? I, I like to make it to the to the pond. Because in the water I'm safe from those inner men. Where's this dude? Hard. Stupid inner man. Ruining everything. Ruining everything. Can't wait. Can't wait for some changes to to the Enderman behavior. I hope hope there will be some changes in the near future. All right, let's uh, fill in those holes. And um, this was especially cool because Tuesday morning I had one of those walk talk meetings with my professor. It was really a productive meeting, and um, I think. He's all so interested in continuing our our discussion we started. So um, yeah, maybe maybe I will ask him. Okay, do you do do we want to continue our brainstorming soon? I guess I guess he's he's really interested in our current conversation and he's always enjoying it. So that that's cool. That's and also not only cool but also quite helpful to just have the opportunity to discuss those things in while walking. I mean, but this is okay. Okay, and I'm in. Okay. Hey, you. Hey, you. Come over here. Yes, you. Yes, you. I'm looking right at you. And I stay in the water where you can't touch me. All right. All right. Please, please stop this inner man. This is my world. You don't have to change it. I like my world as it is. Please, please stop doing this. So, um, yeah, it, it was especially great for this because doing doing the walk truck in sunshine, the first sunshine since, I do not know when, was was really great. It's really the, the, the typical fall and winter weather 
over here for the for the last part for the last few weeks or so just just for, why am I here actually I want to go to to the to the pumpkin farm dang it I was I was so much talking and doing things that I completely forgot what I wanted to do okay now let, let's see if some new pumpkins have grown um you know great weather what was really amazing in the morning it was cool but fine I went running in my lunch break they thought okay it was cool and it still was cool because as I woke up my skylight right above my bed had a layer of ice on it and this ice has not melted away by by noon as I started to run but the sun was still super strong and the sun wasn't shining on my on my skylight at this time so I grabbed my long running pants, I also grabbed my running jacket and this gear was useful as long as I was in the shadow but since most of my run was in the sunshine it started really to become uncomfortable, it just was too warm and this is really the, the kind of weather that is also to some degree annoying, this, this intermediate weather. I, I, I'm completely fine with weather where it's just freezing cool. I, I can no problem. I just put in put on some <sighs> what what shall I say about this? <laughs> Stupid enemy, where where have you gotten this? Okay. Uh, can I can I speed up the process with some uh, bone meal? Uh, let's see. No, can't can't do this. Okay. So we need to we need to wait for new pumpkins. Um, hmm. Well, what what to do? We need to wait for pumpkins. Let, let's let's use the time to check the farms. Let's see if something has grown. And yeah, th this this kind of weather when it's between the seasons or so, it's fine when. When it's chilly, so I can still run in shorts and t-shirt or long sleeve shirt. That's fine. It's fine when it's super cold, then I can wear those winter clothes. But it's bad when it's exactly the the time in between, between when you're in the sun, you're you're getting blasted. When you're in the shadow, you're happy that you're wearing your, your jacket. So uh, that that's always strange feeling so yeah pet okay okay yes we are I guess not making progress here let's let's check the the mine again we're making progress there I wonder where that where this gravel comes from I mean dirt dirt is one thing but gravel uh, I really hope they they change I, I really hope they change the inner man behavior I'm not sure if I can roll back with the uh, with the Minecraft version. I mean, it's, the good thing is the other Minecraft versions are still there, but I'm not sure if I can revert the world back to to um, a version before the end. I mean, man became problematic because I'm think. Some items are now present in this world, or maybe the save game itself has changed, or, or something, so that, that I can't can't go back. This would be bad, and I'm quite sure that I can't go back. But um, yeah, it would be just good to do something about those Enderman. Um, yeah, so sunshine was was really good for for that walk truck, and. Also for the run, partly. In the end, I still still enjoyed this uh, this run, especially trying out those new shoes and feeling feeling very secure in those shoes, which, which is really great. Oh yes, okay. We will we will grow grow our crops in here because here we already got the first finished finished wheat. Okay, I think I have to transfer everything in here. The question just is... I like to have... This might be too narrow. 
there some risky thing? I think I can just just do this without. I mean, here was something, and there's definitely the water. <laughs> but but this is fine. This this is some some automated hydration system for for my crops. But th this is actually a good thing. So yeah, th th this is a good thing. Today will be will be of course teaching despite the fact that this is a Q&A session for two weeks the students only submitted a single question so that's okay -ish. I mean it, it will make the the entire session quicker so this is good oh, yes uh, another thing I wanted to discuss with or talk about with respect to sports since I do some activities as a quick break between while while working or so, so like um, to strengthen a little bit my um, my Achilles heel and so on, I um, do some some calf raises between work and so on and um, just to keep track of those those things that I normally do not track with my with my sports watch I bought some kind of well little notebook where I like to to do some kind of training journaling that goes a little bit beyond those those things um, well like tracking my normal run or so just just to see what am I doing over the course of, of a week or of training period or so. I'm quite interested how this this project works out, if this project is good or if I find it annoying after a short amount of time. For now I feel it's it's also a little bit like a good motivation, like a good reminder, like okay the the notebook lies on my desk so I'm always reminded okay I, I need to do some uh, some exercise to to strength to strengthen my my feet and so on and also to stand up while working so th this, is, this is quite good and yeah I hope I hope it works that way yesterday I also had a uh, very good zoom call with one of my students she's doing a very cool experiment it's all about how why oh spider how embodiment or rather how some aspects of embodiment can affect our yeah, I, I think this is cool. I think this makes... Okay, I, I need to go home, but it definitely adds some light. Just just over there are some, some darker spots, but this is all right. This is all right to have a few, a few dark spots here and there. The majority of the of the area is lit up, so this is cool. And um, yeah, she's researching a specific aspect for her, currently her project and later on also for a master thesis it's about the shoes of the avatars used for embodiment the question is do specific shoes like high heels when present on the avatar affect the the gait and the walking behavior although you are not wearing high heels in reality and she got some significant findings which is super cool which is super exciting so it really seems that haha you're you're locked out it really seems that embodiment has such effect 
we just need to uh, discuss it a little bit more but th this is really a great great result and this is this was also a very cool cool experiment because she of Chris had to do this experiment in virtual reality and we had to find a, a way how we can how we can let the the participants walk in a in a safe way and in a way that is man three creepers oh yes i remember i, I recall november the month of the creepers that's that's why so many guys are here all right are, you, are we are we done okay you are still coming up and then it's you all right i think we are safe now so um yeah we we used a treadmill and track the the or let the people in while wearing the head mounted display walk on the treadmill and then track their motions so th this was super cool and i find it super cool that there are even some significant differences whether the avatar had high heels or had normal shoes so this is cool this is also an insight into my my current well, yeah, also my current research and the, the research of my student. So, yeah, so much science, so much sports. Let's, before I go to bed, have a quick look down to the to the Hall of Sports. This is really an addition. And then we are at the end of this episode. I feel it's... No... Okay, I think ha, huh, all the zombies are in the stark spot. But yeah, I think this looks cool. I think this looks very cool. Yes, I know creeper. It's the month of the of the creepers, but you don't have to be there. And I do not want to shoot you. Alright, um yeah, I, I, I do not know. I, I find this episode it feels it feels like totally totally mixed up and strange and not coherent, no no coherent message, no coherent threat. Oh dear. There's only the coherent threat of the Ender guys. Anyways, um I hope you you found this episode interesting. And um yeah, in this case, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you again in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, my name is Zebby. See you. Thank you.